as other people join the demo and we will get started. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our mock live event. I'm Candice Lucy, customer success right here at Event Gifts. And joining me today are Ben and Matt with Custom Benefit Auctions. They're going to act as our auctioneers for this demo. Now, this demo is a little special. We host a demo every Wednesday at 2 p.m., but this demo we're going to go over and show you everything hybrid that event has to offer. You can have an in-person event, a virtual event, or a little bit of both. So we've got some people here in the room that are going to bid and donate, and you're going to see that um, displayed on the screen as well as you at home as our virtual audience. So stay tuned till the end. We're going to have a nice Q&A and go over some of those questions that you guys must have for hybrid. So without any further ado, Ben and Matt, if you'll go ahead and take over and get us started. All right, Candace, thank you so much. And uh, everyone, thank you for taking the time to join us today. We are excited to be talking about event.gives as a fundraising platform as you move forward. Notice that uh, as we move into the fall and spring season, we are planning for success. The pivot season has ended and we are planning for success. So no matter how you want your attendees to join, uh, event.gives is an amazing platform for you. What you're going to experience today is the ability to chat as you are. In fact, if you're tuned in, I'd like you to go ahead and say hello in the chat. Let us know where you're watching from today. And then when we get into a live auction mode, you can be using your phone, your tablet, your computer, and you're going bid right here on the platform right there on the screen that you're using so candace and Alyssa, kelsey ruth lindsay everybody welcome from memphis tennessee so remember this is a demo today and so that your money is free you can just spend and bid with reckless abandon that's the, that's how you can have fun and you can bid away just like uh, your donors will be bidding at your next event now, Matt and I are a team here at Custom Benefit Auctions. We've served clients all across the United States with amazing success uh, on the virtual event during the virtual event season and uh, even during the hybrid season as we've begun to reemerge and get back in person. In fact, just three weeks ago, uh, we had a, a big weekend. We had a hybrid event in Texas and we had a virtual event in North Carolina. And so Matt, you were the person on stage in Texas with, uh, was it three or 400 people there? Tell everyone how that hybrid experience went since we we're talking about hybrids here today. 
Absolutely. Thanks, Ben. It was great. Of course, we were working as a team. So Ben was remote. He was my producer that night. And I was in the room with 500 of my best friends, right? In Houston, Texas, we had another 100 or so uh, who had joined us virtually. Uh, and of course, we love we love Event Gives because it's a single device solution for our patrons. And there's, uh, there's no lag in the video delivery. So we can do that real uh, real time live auction and paddle race. And it didn't require uh, didn't require much AV help the night of. So that's one of the reasons we love Event Gives. And then uh, transferring that into the hybrid scenario, I've got people in the room, I've got people online. And there are three things that were a little different than a hundred or so that we've done on Event Gives in the last year. The first thing was there was an odd, there was an in-person component. We had to check people in. Um, and so I was real pleased with the Event Gives platform. Checking went very smoothly. Um, we're able to equip our volunteers, their phones, we don't have to have iPads, their phones can be check-in devices. We had patrons walking up to the door. They had their ticket, their QR code on their phone, and our volunteers could scan them and check them in. And they were ready to go. They were ready to go find their seat. So that was fantastic. Um, and we had a few people, we were encouraging everyone to bid and give on their phones, even if they were in the room. That, that allowed us to do that real time, have that real time bidding frenzy, if you will. But there are a few people who still wanted to have paddles. And uh, we were able to assign them a paddle number and give them an actual paddle when they check in. So we had less than 10% of the people uh, use paddle. Everybody else used their phones all the way through. And then the checkout went very smoothly as well. We could check out, someone could show up, uh, come to the table, show that they had paid, and uh, we could give them their items, their silent or live auction items that they had won. And, um, and we could mark that paid as picked up. So that was one thing that was different, of course, from the virtuals. We had that in-person component. Um, technology, it took a little planning. It wasn't too terribly difficult but it took planning. We had to map out what laptops were going to drive. I had a confidence monitor. We wanted to have a big screen behind me on stage where we could show the event gives feed. So we had some different computers set up, different monitors set up. We mapped that out and tested it in advance. Um, and then the other thing that was different was we had run of show. We had two runs of show. So we had the one in the room for our patrons um, who uh, obviously were in the room and then the people who joined us virtually. So during dinner, um, we had a little bit of programming. Thanks sponsors, welcome people. And during that time, we were running a loop for our virtual uh, patrons. And then we had a pre-determined uh, time that we merged the two together. It was a lot of fun, brought everybody together. Uh, lots of activity in the chat, and that's when we jumped right into our live auction, into our keynote, into our mission moment, and our paddle race. So we had two different runs of show that merged together, and then at the very end, we split them off again. So those are the three differences in a hybrid event, but it went very smoothly, and um, I think we're going to see some of those uh, features today, the, the ability to have floor bids and uh, floor donations. So uh, great time uh, in Houston. Ben, always, of course, a uh, pleasure working with you. We work well as a team. It takes two people, the front end in front of the camera and then a producer. Uh, so let's give a little taste of it. Now, Ben, I'm gonna turn it over to you for that first live auction item, but I wanna remind everyone, if you're on the broadcast today, this is pretend money. I want you to bid and give with reckless abandon. We're gonna see those bids and those uh, those gifts pop up on the screen. Let's challenge Ben. I know he can get through those names. Let's go, let's go. Ben, let's get that first item rolling. Fantastic, Matt. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, remember, if you're watching and this is your first exposure to Vent.Gives, this platform plays pre-recorded videos as well as a live stream connection by way of webcam. And so uh, all of your material can be pre-recorded to play for your viewers to see. And then, of course, when it's time for live auction, live donations, you simply go to a live screen and we're going to show you the overlay in just a minute. What you also need to know right before we jump to this live auction is the platform does check every single box you need for fundraising. You can sell tickets. You can sell sponsors. You can sell silent auction, you can sell live auction, you can have a fund in need, you can sell raffles, you can play interactive games, and everyone is in the chat box and connected. So someone once said, Ben, I think people are maybe getting a little burned out on screen time. I said, well, we've been watching television for quite a long time in this country. No one's got tired of watching the football on weekends. So don't let anyone fool you into thinking that uh, your donors don't want to support. Give them a time and place. They will show up, they will support you, and they will invest in your mission if you simply give them an opportunity. So right now, let's go ahead and show you an example of a pre-recorded video. This will be a little a sneak peek into our live auction items that we're going to sell right here and now. So without further ado, let's take a look at that video.
super fired up. Let's rock and roll. Let's going to start the first live auction. You're going to see what we do is we uh, we will put an overlay on the screen so that you can see it. And there'll be a blue button down there beneath my chin. Uh, you can see also in the upper right hand side, there's a button that says view full details. View full details. Candace is already bidding at two thousand dollars. Let's go to three thousand dollars. Where? Remember, just touch an old. Morgan is bidding at three thousand dollars. Hubert bid four. We go four, four, four. Now we bid four thousand. And look, we see people are cheering one another on. You're encouraging in the chat, encouraging bidding participation. David's in fire. Anonymous and Ruth is bidding at seven thousand dollars. Let's go to eight thousand dollars. Alyssa, eight now would be nine. And now Jen, Janine, thank you, Janine Zupo, for jumping on and bidding and taking care of business. Let's go for ten thousand dollars here, Kelsey, at ten thousand. Now eleven. Here would be twelve, 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 twelve. And now would be twelve thousand. Real time live action cheer each other on don't stop bidding i want you to have the thrill of victory twelve thousand dollars and now we're on 13 now 14 dollars genie keep on coming back keep coming back and you know what if i mispronounce your name keep bidding until i get it right kathleen brooks and now fifteen thousand dollars where fifteen thousand dollars here we go give it a bit people are cheering it on now hold on i noticed somebody uh, they typed the amount in the chat box now every now and again we'll see this so if you want to place the bid jump over there and see the blue screen on the button floor bid floor bid that means somebody in the room is bidding right there at headquarters of event.gives now erica thank you seventeen thousand dollars here we go 18 we go 18 you can see who's bidding you can cheer on who's bidding and you know what if you see the name pop up that means someone's bidding a floor bid in the room right there and we just keep marching on that means someone's raised their paddle in the room and i'm catching that bid 18 now would have been 19 would have been 20 now would go 20 20 20 here we go 20 would be 20 we love you anonymous thank you for being here tonight carrie's jumping in there twenty thousand dollars here we go 21 here we go give it a bit able to buy 21 to go 21 to 22 two 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 here we go 22 erica's on fire a bid in the room right there floor bid we love it keep on bidding we're bidding as fast as we can catching the bids as fast as we can and acknowledging as fast as we can we're at twenty four thousand dollars let's go for 25 and why not Alyssa says why well, i'm gonna do it 25 now but it'll be twenty six thousand dollars here we go everyone's on on the action everyone's placing a bid twenty six thousand dollars let's go going once for 26 if you've not yet bid place a bid kathleen has the the the, the bidding strategy to win carries back in top at twenty seven thousand and now twenty eight thousand dollars here don't wait don't wait your screen should say you're winning if it doesn't say you're winning uh, i'm sorry to tell you, you're losing so you got to be back in the winning position carries in command let's go let's go one more time twenty eight thousand i'm uh i was thinking 30 martha Lindsay. let's go thirty thousand dollars thirty thousand on the horizon let's do it for the kids for the kids for the kids thirty thousand dollars here but to go to give it a bit able to buy but to go give it to go give it to go give it to go give it about 30 going once come on ruth come on back ruth you know what it means to win thirty thousand dollars here would be thirty thousand going twice Lindsay's in command who's it gonna be third and final call third and final call all in all done i feel like i might want to place a bid if you don't mind thirty thousand dollars yes 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 oh ho, ho. and erica comes in now there is a great example of why you want to have a live auction at your fundraising event whether it's in person whether it's hybrid or whether it's online and that's because there's a sense of urgency last minute people get excited and they place the bid just there we saw two bids me and uh, uh erica placed the bid at the last second now and now Lindsay's in command at 32 so that's why we love counting it down making it exciting so this time i really will close it going once for thirty-three thousand dollars. here we go give it a go give it a bit able to buy it go give it a bit thirty-three thousand going twice third and final call third and final call last minute bidders now's your chance three two one and close that item now notice right here we are set we are celebrating lindsay as our winner congratulations lindsay at our events online of course everyone's cheering you on everyone is congratulating you and nothing promotes giving uh more giving like giving in the first place so thank you all for setting the stage now that was fun for me i'm gonna throw it over to matt to um to show you another feature during the live auction matt take it away my friend take it away very much everyone for bidding you see how that works real time and uh, single device that's why we like it so much so this is when ben and i we love to harness all that energy we just generated during the auction and then we really channel that right into our mission we can play an impactful um uh, mission video right now or when i was in person we had the mission person right on the stage right next to me they gave their story and it was powerful so we're going to show just a very short video right now you see how that can work and when we come out of that ben is going to do our paddle raise our fund to need. Let's take a look. The feeling that something is about to happen. Anything extra, everything that you need is within one platform. What we're going to do is called a paddle raise. It's night, it's a virtual paddle raise. Now is the time to just start pushing that button. Go we'll get five, where? Come on back, we're going to get five, where? We're going to get five, high, we're going to get five. 2,000, now who will go to $2,500? Here we're going to be 2,500, now we're going to be 2,500. 500, where? I'm going to four and a half. 
now five, now five and a half, now 600. Now Jamie Quinn is on board here, 5,500, we love it. Lauren Bass are in at four, Brian is in at $5,000. I'll take a thousand dollar bill. We are at $6,000 for five nights in St. John. Sold to Brian for $8,000. Congratulations, Brian. We gotta raise some money here. The bidders get notified on their screen. They're winning. The paddle race is a lot of fun too. Jamie's in there at 10,000. So can we go a little bit higher? You gotta just feel the thrill of bidding right now. Get that last click in. Remember on your mobile device, you're gonna click and hold. Yeah, this is real time bidding and action. We love it. We are closing in 30 seconds. Are we done? This is the last lot, ladies and gentlemen. So I simply love it. I think it's the most effective way. We just can't thank you enough. So, uh, Jenny, great question about if if you close the item. So, we, uh, in a, of course, when we're doing a demonstration, everyone's bidding with reckless abandon, just as we've asked them to do. Uh, but in a real event, of course, when you get down to the final level and you usually have one or two people really bidding against each other, we always give them ample time, really going once, going twice. And just like a live event, if someone was in the room and we said closed and they raised their paddle because the people who are online are watching and we have real interaction on the chat we can simply say oh someone has just raised their paddle in the room and they would love to keep bidding so ladies and gentlemen who are watching would you like us to keep going or should we stop the fundraising right here and uh, I've got about a 99.9 percent .9 positive uh, response when we ask that question because people always say let's keep going let's keep going but of course it would be our job Matt and I <clears throat> to make sure that we are not closing that item until people have absolutely positively had all their bids in and you know after 2,000 events or so you get to know where when people are finally done they usually say we're done we're out on our online bidding people generally say i'm out ruth why don't you just take it away and how do you sell multiples great question ruth so in the on the back end of the platform you create um, multiple items and so once we get to the top prize thirty thousand dollars we announce soul we say guess what the donors of this amazing item have provided another week in Hawaii another trip to the moon whatever it might be and then you can display that item on the broadcast window as a fixed price so you can put as many in there as you want and then simply say click to purchase who else wants to go at 30,000 and Carrie Carrie is going to be going at 30,000 Ruth is going to be going at 30,000 Kathleen and you can just read off all the winners because it shows up as the winning bidder in the chat box so those are great questions believe me as auctioneers there is nothing greater than selling multiple multiple items it is just an excellent way to raise money so now great question we're going to show you how the fund to need works and so uh, this would be true whether it's online or in person or combination so we will put up a donation level and you can you can predetermine these levels of course you can change the levels on the fly let's just begin at ten thousand dollars and if you want just press the ten thousand dollar button way matt and i have really found this to be successful is to disable the chat so that we can really focus on every name so here i am and i can see that candace and kelsey and david and uh, 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 hello ashley seamster from raleigh north carolina and kathleen and ruth um all jumping on and bidding right here and Erica and Alyssa and look you can see the total we're at a hundred thousand dollars wouldn't it be great if every event was like this everyone watching giving ten thousand dollars so we can go ten thousand you see we're at a hundred and ten thousand and when that slows down we add another button let's add five thousand dollars let's add the next level right there and the ten thousand is still available and now five thousand looks very attractive and so look um uh, ten thousand ten thousand five thousand and look and I, what you know if you were in the room right there I could say bitter raising their paddle bitter one oh one there you go make it raising their paddle in the room and there comes in at five thousand dollars kelsey thank you so very much you got ten and five if someone raises the paddle here we go paddle number three thirty three three thirty there's sam coming in at five thousand dollars so if you're online you are giving uh, by by pressing this button on your broadcast window on your phone. If you are in the room and you want to raise your paddle, these numbers that have been pre-assigned, I as the auctioneer can read that number and you fall right in the same category where everyone can see their name on the screen. And I got to tell you, the philosophy, the big debate's always about bid numbers or not. If you're in a room of 300 people and someone on the other side raises their bid card, I may say their bid number, but you may not know who they are. Now, when I say their bid number, you if you can't see them, 
them, you're definitely going to see their name on the screen. So let's go to another level there, 2,500, 10,000, 5,000, 2,500. Look at where we are. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. We're at 130,000. I was thinking even for the demonstration sake, we could get to $150,000 here. In fact, we can even put a button on there that says enter your own amount, enter your own amount. So right now, if I have a room full of people in front of me, they're either giving on their phone, they're either raising their paddle. Ah, 12,345, a great number. Matt giving again, Ashley giving again, Matt's favorite number there, all fours, 160,000. We've absolutely hit our goal. And you can change all of these. You can go from 10,000 all the way down to 100, all the way down to 50, but the great part of this is that you are driving for a total that the total can be viewed by everyone both in the room and at home and erica thank you 8877 another very lucky number i think 175 is on the horizon 175 if you all want to help us get there let's get there only six thousand dollars to go and when people are watching and they're fired up about what you're doing they want to help you hit the goal and there's five thousand dollars now we're under a thousand dollars to go can we get to 175 let's get to 175 keep giving until we get there just one more step away who's going to take us across the finish line into the end zone it out there we go carrie and ashley teaming up to take us to 179 and if this were a real event you better believe that i'm not stopping until we get to 180 do the quick math get your smartphone handy if you need to 180,000 everybody 180,000 going once 180,000 i know that we can do it guess what apple coming in big and strong so there we go now Obviously, you can start as high as you want, as low as you want. You can decide when you want in your planning process when to enter that inner amount. Um, also, you could add a donate now bar below this broadcast window so that people could give throughout your entire program. So that is it. It is super fun. It is super easy to use and everyone gets recognized, which is what I love most. Uh, and uh, in our Q&A a little bit later, we can talk about how you could incorporate matching funds during this moment to really leverage those predetermined gifts and inspire people to give more than once during your paddle race. So uh, we do something else, which we absolutely love called the last hero. So I want to bring Matt back up for here. He, I think he does hold the world record for number of gifts in the final moments via last hero. So I'm going to step aside, Matt, you take over. Let's cover last hero. And again, don't stop bidding everybody. Matt. Kind of thanks, Ben. Yes, last year is one of our favorite games. It's a way to stick, pull that last dollar out of the last pocket in the room or online. And the way it works is we tell everybody, hey, everybody who's given tonight, you're heroes. So we put that, but we're going to play a little game here to see who can be our last year. Only one person can be the last year. So we like to put up $100 and enter your own amount. And I'll tell you why. Did that in Houston the other night. $100, $100, $100, $5,000 out of nowhere happens more often than not. And the way it works is we've got a prize out there. And I saw Lindsay. Lindsay won those moon rock earrings. Lindsay's from Memphis, Tennessee. So I think our last hero is going to be dinner with Lindsay. She's going to unveil the earrings down at the rendezvous. We're going to get some ribs down in Memphis. That is something that you want to win. And again, every time you give, it's a gift for which we are grateful, but only one person can be our last hero. And that's the last person to give $100 or more. Look how much we've already incrementally added to our total tonight. So who would like to be last? Our anonymous donor wants to be last. Right now, of course, Candace was, then Ben and Kelsey, but right now, our anonymous donor, it's got to be over 100. Candace is currently in last place. You don't hear that very often. Congratulations, you're in last place. But this is one of those times. Carrie and then Patrick, out of nowhere, wants to be in last place. Ruth is in last place. Who wants to be there going once? Alyssa, Ben, Alyssa, Candace, yes, Ben, thank you. Janine in last place at $100. Erica, Candace, Kathleen, they're going like crazy now. Care, uh, David, and thank you very much, David. Last place going once. The last place going twice, third and final call. Oh my goodness, my computer, my monitor's starting to smoke now. Look at all those names coming in. Look at all those dollars. Erica, Belinda, Ashley, yes, Alyssa, Anonymous. Alyssa's in last place. And of course, I'm, I'm playing this up, Ben and I, we usually do a couple of false closes. There's our anonymous donor at $10,000. If we hadn't done last year, we might not have gotten that gift. That's fantastic. Belinda's in last place going once. Eric is in last place going twice. But to go, would be able to give it to go able to go by. Third and final call. Third and final calls are going to be Erica. Third and final call. Anonymous. Only one dollar. It's got to be a hundred or more. Going once. Going twice. We can, we can always stretch this out, of course. Third and final call. And it's going to be. Let's close it. And I think that Carrie is our winner. We're going to see the server send back. And it looks like Carrie is our last hero. You're headed to Memphis. You're going to see Lindsay unveil the Moonrock earrings, and you're going to have a fantastic. Okay. 
rack of ribs. Yeah, let's open that chat back up so everybody can congratulate. We can celebrate $201,000. That is worthy of a round of applause and everybody can pitch in in the chat. So yes, that's a, it's a great way to look what we do right here. Another 20,000 or a little more. Um, fantastic. So that's how we do our last hero. Great way to end the night. Always ends on a high note. Everybody's excited and we have hit a big number. So that's how we do our events. We uh, we keep it pretty tight. We have uh, we have a welcome. We have some branding in person online. Uh, we do our auction. We do some a mission moment. We do our paddle raise. We do a thank you. And that's uh, it's a real tight show that but, uh, we've done. Ben, I've done uh, well over 100 on event gifts and uh, we absolutely love it. So I want to bring my colleagues, Candace and Ben back in. I think we've got some questions that we will uh, drive through. There they are. And Candace, I'm going to let you take over. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Matt. Ben, you showcased the platform so well. Appreciate that. Um, so we're just going to look for some questions in the chat. Um, I know we got to have some fun here with the auction and some donations, but you might be left with still a couple of questions. So go ahead and shoot some questions in there. We're going to take four or five questions um, and, and go over those and demonstrate some things. Um, and if, if you still have questions past those few, there is that help button at the top there or in your manager portal you know where that support button is so feel free to ask the team those questions so what do we have carrie how do you put floor bids and donations in so i was doing that in the back as the producer and at every time that he would call out someone in the room i'm putting in that floor donation or that floor bid so let me share my screen here and show you how i did that okay so I'm here in the back end in the manager portal. Let me just get to the right place. Okay. Um, so if any of you have started planning your events, um, you've already seen this, but this is our manager portal for event gifts for you creating your event. And the, the moon rock earrings that we were selling are right here, sold to Lindsay and that glamping trip sold to Kathleen there. But um, to put in a donation, let's go ahead and open up this car. So I'm gonna make this live for you to bid and now you can see that button pop up at the bottom for bidding there and um, you would easily you know ben might see someone in the room you've got someone jotting down those paddle numbers so that we know who that is that might have won at the end um, but i see that that paddle shoot up and um as your volunteer at the event i click place floor bid and now you see that displayed on the screen floor bid is placed for fifteen thousand dollars super simple it goes fast you usually have like i mentioned a spotter jotting down those paddle numbers as well as someone clicking the floor bid button so you at home know that if you're seeing names those are people watching from home if you're seeing floor bid that's someone in the room so that's super easy to manage so i'm going to close that out and show you how donations work you scroll down here and we are in bidding mode so it switches over and we go to um, donating mode here and those amounts will pop up that we were working with earlier and let's just play around with five thousand dollar giving level so you see that on your screen five thousand dollars so if i were to want to place so some pre-committed donations you can place those here displaying that but you can also do paddle number my paddle number let's see carrie's paddle number is 909 so that that shows up as carrie donated five thousand dollars so that could be a paddle that raised in the room at that five thousand dollar level so you're working with five thousand dollars for probably a couple of minutes there you can lock this amount so as, as you saw a second ago it went away but now let's say we got another one in and we've got another one and you can just keep going as many of those paddle numbers that you see shoot up in the air. I think my number is 105. So got 426. So you see how quickly you can do that. Their paddles are raising and you can manually enter those very quickly. So that was a great. Just let, me, let me jump on in. I'll tell you about my experience in Houston because during the live auction, all we care about is locking in that there is a floor bid. We don't really care who it is unless they win. And so Ben was, uh, we were in each other's ear and I, as soon as I said floor bid, then Ben locked in that there was a floor bid. It jumped the increment up and anybody could bid then. Uh, and then if we had a floor bid winner, 
Um, then I had a volunteer who would hustle over and say, oh, I see that you were, you were the floor bid winner. I'd always stay locked in on them until the volunteer could mark them then as the winner. So we knew their bidder number, but we didn't need to know the bidder number until they actually won. Um, and then on the uh, donation side, obviously we want to catch those as they come in. But we put, we encouraged everyone during check-in and during the early part of the show, please use your phones. It'll be so much easier for you. It'll, it'll give real time, particularly bidding in the auction. And like I said, I'd say well over 90% of the people use their phones in person, uh, which was a huge help. And and yeah. Matt, um, we had a question from Janine there that said, uh, how does staff keep up with floor bids? Our events have hundreds of paddles raised. Um, great question. We Go ahead, Ben. You, you kept up with it as I was calling it. Well, yeah. So uh, when, when you're in the room, of course, uh, the people in the room who are holding a paddle, they need to be recognized first because the people who are giving at home are simply giving whenever they want to. So when you have multiple paddles up, uh, the people see the auctioneer working toward that side of the room. We just begin to call the numbers out, call the numbers out, call the, it's really even, but this is way going way back before we had mobile bidding and people use paddles for everything. You still can only read one paddle at a time. And so you simply tell them to hold their paddles up. I'm going to read your number and they're going to know that I've read their number when their screen name is appears. And so that's great confirmation that they have placed their bid. So people are going to want to see their name on the screen. So they hold the card up. We read those and everyone else just gives uh, on their at home on the computer. And I'll say that I did have someone in the room with the old school clipboard just to just to get those numbers down so that we had a manual backup in case there was some question. And of course, if you've got hundreds and hundreds of paddles, that very last level, when you're likely to get every paddle, you can always say at the last level, hey, just hold it up and we'll collect it from you. And then you can go back to a table somewhere with a laptop and start uh, keying those in. That would save you from having to call out all of the $50 paddles left over at the very end. So a few tricks there. Sure. Yeah, and, and uh, then Ruth, um, Ruth had a question, question oh, there, ahead, Ruth, about the uh, changing increments. So uh, obviously, this the, the time this happens is when you're going a thousand dollars at a, at an increment, and it's time to cut it in half. So we're asking for two thousand. Would it be two? Would it go two? Would it be two? Uh, about fifteen hundred. And then on the back end, uh, as Candace was doing today, you simply type in 1500 and enter. And now it becomes a, it's 1500 is the bid we're requesting. And then it all automatically defaults to $500 uh, increments moving forward. And then if you want to slice it again, go on down to 250 and that'll do it for you. So it's all uh, based upon the producer on the back end setting the new level of increments. So Janine had two other questions I can answer quickly. Uh, she asked about, it looked like doing the last hero with in-person and uh, virtual. And I said, hey folks, I could see that we had over 90% of our patrons in the room engaged with the platform on their phones. I said, you know what, the last hero is just gonna be for people on their phone. Cause I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna just catch a couple of paddles to try and do that. So that's how I handled that. And then um, we we can use Zoom or, or we cannot use Zoom. There is a great um, native video uh, camera uh, baked into event gifts that we use uh, more often than not. So you don't have to use Zoom. And let, let me second that, how amazing it is when people are giving in Last Hero. So instead of one paddle at a time, going once, going twice, bitter 133, going once, going twice, 144. When you say going once, going twice, you may get 10 people who give. So it is far better to have them giving during Last Hero on a mobile device of some type, even if they're in the room. You just get more bids in the least amount of time, which of course, uh, is what you want. Thank you so much, Ben. Um, so I did have a question offline that went, wanted to know about our different support options. So I'll go ahead and go over that um, really quickly. So we do have multiple different packages that you can get from support from event gives agents like myself. We have a whole team here um, that you can either have someone over the phone during your event, or if you have any questions, you can ask them platform questions you know, anything like that, as well as they are monitoring your attendees. So if you're hosting a virtual event, there is that blue chat button that you see up at the top right corner. And we are on the other end of that, answering any questions your attendees have. They have issues logging in or bidding or anything like that. We're right there for, for them for that. So that's a phone agent. You can also have a production agent, which is what I was doing for this demo, as well as hosting. So in the back end, I'm putting items live and changing increments and donations and things like that. So that's a production agent. That agent is there for two rehearsals. So the benefit for a production agent is huge because they can give you best practices as you go. They can make you feel just super secure before the night of your event. And you would have rehearsed with them fully 
um, before you ever even go live. So two rehearsals for that, as well as producing the night of. And then, of course, if you'd like to have someone physically at your event to help you with check-ins, to help you with how do we get these items, these winning items to our guests and things, we can stay for that entire event and be there in person um, for you as an extra level of support. Let's see, what other questions Liz. did we have? Do you have a question from Liz? Liz, all right, do you have AV tutorials to Heliconnect the producer feed, the live feed, and the Zoom all to be viewed on the screen at the live event. So to answer your question, Liz, um, if you're asking, you know, how do you learn how to connect these things, the feed, um, Zoom, and all that, you can book a call with us anytime. Um, there's a couple of our production agents here who are very well versed and can help you um, learn how to do that on your own or like I had mentioned before we could do that for you so um, totally up to you and you can book calls with us as many times as you like and we'd love to demonstrate and show you how to do that so you feel comfortable and I do have a couple of videos coming out that will be um, showcasing how to do that in video form awesome well, we've got quite a few questions in. Um, if you guys don't have any others, uh, or if you just, you know, you still have some to think about, please feel free to reach out to us. And um, we really enjoyed having you both, Ben, Matt. Thank you so much for showcasing Event Gives for us for this hybrid. And we look forward to seeing some of you guys in our emails and, and in the help desk. You click up here at the top, uh, that blue square, and we will reach out to you as soon as we can um, to, to go over any questions that you have or have some personal demos. So thank you so much again. And it was such a pleasure having you, Ben and Matt, to, um, to help us out with this demo. So thank you all. And we're going to wrap it up for the day. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Awesome. Thank you, everybody.